apologize before I even get started because there are some people outside and they are cutting down some trees and they're pretty loud and every time I think they're done they start back up so I um, I apologize but I'm gonna try to talk over it and I hope that you guys forgive me so today I have two sewing makes for you and the first one is going to be McCall's 7878 now on the pattern it says that this is actually a jacket however it is made out of a knit and i used an interlock knit that i purchased from joanne fabrics and this is what it looks like of course it does have a belt the belt is not attached um i was able to use some of my faux knit leather that i still had hanging around i used that in the neckband and I also used it to line the pockets and even though I did that I still ran out of fabric because you need a long piece for the front facing and you also need a long piece for the front and the back and that was almost three yards by itself and by the time I finished cutting those pieces out I needed some more fabric I ran out so I had to go back to the store so if you decide to make this I think that's just something to keep in mind but um, it's fairly long, I really like it. And I wore it in the video clip, you'll see that I wore it as a dress by itself. And then I also have, a, have some footage of me wearing it with another dress under it. And so it was open. And then I came home later, I changed, I put jeans and a t-shirt on and I went to the grocery store and I wore it like that as well. And I was trying to figure out which way I like it the most. And I actually liked all the ways, but I think I kind of like it open as a jacket uh, more because it kind of felt like I was wearing like a duster or um, a robe even. <laughs> but um, it was very comfortable and very flowy. And um, yeah, so I like the different ways that you can wear it. And I like that, um, you know, you can be comfortable and relaxed. Or if you want to feel dressed up, you can do that also. So yeah, I will go ahead and show you what this looks like on. so this time I remember to go ahead and lengthen it just a little bit so um, yeah it's much better now and this is it it's pretty simple and um, yeah that is it for my two makes for today okay so before I go I want to leave you with a love share I am gonna have to do this fairly quickly because it's starting to get noisy outside so my love share for today is that in Singapore there is a ban on chewing gum and in fact as a tourist if you decide that you want to visit Singapore you are only allowed to bring up to two packs of gum per person oh you hear that okay so 